Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Primary Animal Health Care with me, your friend veterinarian, Dr. Nobs. Last week, I did a video on antibiotics versus vaccines. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something from that video. Today, I'm here to talk more about the most commonly used antibiotics in the communal slash rural area. Or should I say an antibiotic? Because I will only be talking about one of the three that I mentioned last week, right? Today, I want I want us to um, talk more about tetracyclines, right? One of the most commonly, commonly, commonly used antibiotic in the rural area, and that's because it is available over the counter. So it is easily accessible, all right? So I want us to talk about that antibiotic today. So if you have been with me since the beginning of my journey on YouTube, I want to take this time to thank you. Thank you so much for staying with me and thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're coming for the first time and you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe. It's absolutely free. Subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. All right, let's get into it. Last week I explained that antibiotics are a medicine that we use to treat an illness. Now, in the rural areas, um, we've got a common antibiotic that is loved by all farmers, that all farmers have because it's easily accessible to them. They can get it at the at the co-ops, at the NWKs, they can get it anywhere, so um, without needing a prescription. Now, because it's out there, we need to get people into um, into the habit of using it correctly and under the correct circumstances. That's why I'm making this video. There is a big, big misconception in the rural area that I want us to address today. There is a big misconception that these oxytetracycles are different. They are not different, but they've got differences. And then I'm going to try and explain what do I mean about that. Let's start here. Antibiotics are grouped into different classes, right? And one of those classes is tetracyclines. Then those tetracyclines are further broken down into uh, uh, groups of uh, antibiotics. One of that group is oxytetracyclines. Oxytetracyclines, commonly known as your teramycins in the communal slash uh, rural setup. Now, people know there is this teramycin. There is this teramycin that can be used if you think if you, if you think your animal is sick and something. There is this teramycin that somehow magically treats each and every disease that is out there, which is also another most misconception, right? So that's the the things I want to try and we, we address today. So let's backtrack. We've got that uh, group of oxytetracyclines, right? Then in that oxytetracyclines. Uh, you have different types of brands that have made an antibiotic that is composed of that oxytetracycline. Oh, I hope I'm making sense. The more I talk, the more I feel like even I'm confused. But I hope you guys understand. It's like this thing. When you go into the shop, when you go into pick and pay, you are looking for rice. The main aim of going into, into the pick and pay shop is that you were looking for rice, right? But now you get there and there is this different brand names of rice. But at the end of the day, they are all still rice. What you need to do is look at your pocket, the situation you are in now, how many family members you have, for example. Ne? You, you can't just mean rice, for example. It's nice rice, but it's expensive and it's small. Now you are a family of 10. Rather just buy you, you would go for the testy, right? Testy, because it, 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 it what do you call it? Testy kits. <laughs> when you're cooking it, you use one cup, but then it gets big. I don't know how, how to explain it, you know? And then testy will work for you and your family and the number of your family members. But at the end of the day, all you wanted was rice. Whether you buy jasmine, testy, um, no name rice, basmati or whatever it's going to depend on your pocket and on what's convenient for you and also what you like and what's functional you understand and what makes sense what saves you money things like that Obana. but as long as you are cooking the rice correctly you will receive the same outcome now it's the same thing with the oxytetracyclines guys let me tell you what i'm saying this, why i'm saying this once i got called out to a farm right my calf is sick, well, and the farmer was explaining signs of heart battle. 
fine. I drive to the farm. I get there. I ask everybody. Now there's like a, there's like five men there. All of them trying to talk at once. All of them trying to show me who's the man and who knows the correct thing and who doesn't, right? But at the end of the day, anyway, I ended up getting where I wanted to go. So I asked them, um, okay, what did you give the calf? One of the questions I asked at the end was, what did you give the calf? And then they said to me, no, um, yesterday we gave it a Teron LA. This morning we gave it high tech LA. And they were saying it with so much confidence. For me, I'm like, high tech LA and Teron LA. Why? What, what were you guys, what was happening? What was going through your mind when you did that? And the answer I got was, no, they're not the same. And then I'm like, what do you mean they're not the same? No, doctor, this one is, is high tech. This one is terrible. Like, but okay, still, I want to understand. Why? No, they're not the same. And then I'm like, please. They are the same, guys. At the end of the day, they are made one thing. Oxytetracycline. And worse, both of them are LA, meaning that they shouldn't, it was not, there was not supposed to be any repetition if you had just read and followed the instructions on the package insert of every drug that you buy. So that's what I mean when I say that they are the same, but they've got differences. So they are the same, why? Because it doesn't matter what comes before the LA, or even if there's a 100 or a 200 or a 13.15. It doesn't matter what comes before those numbers. If it's, whether it's John LA, Mugani LA, Etibelo, LA, Tatani LA, you know, it doesn't matter what comes before that LA. What matters is what you are using is the same thing. It's oxytetracycline. Now, when you go give Teron LA yesterday and wake up this morning and give Maxitet LA, essentially what you're doing is overdosing that animal. That's what you're doing. So let's not um, let's understand how these things work and what we are doing. So when you are going to buy uh, tetracyclines, you go and buy what works for you, right? Then me now I'm coming into explaining the differences. That the, their differences will be. Um, how you decide which one to buy. There's got differences in terms of how often you can use that tetracycline, that specific tetracycline that you are buying, right? Some of them only need to be repeated after 72 hours, that's after three days. And some of them need to be given daily, like every day, once a day, for at least three to five days, for example, right? That's, those are the differences I'm talking about. How The ones that are repeated after three days are the ones that have all this LA thing. Now, you are LA, like Mugani LA, Jeanette LA. I'm avoiding mentioning people's brands, you know? So, Mugani LA, Jeanette LA, I hope you guys are getting where I'm going up with this, right? So, you're going to choose that LA, for example, because most of you, you don't stay at the farm. So it's not convenient for you to be driving down there every day to go and administer that medicine. That's when you will go for the LA, right? Because you use it once and then only go back after three days and see how that animal is doing. If it's not better, then you can possibly um, repeat the treatment, right? If it doesn't have LA and it's just to tell Mugani, we, Mugani 100, Mugani 13.5, Mugani 12, Mugani 5, you know, you, get, you guys get what I'm saying, you know these things. So. That, that one now shows you that that one is short acting because it doesn't have an LA written on it on the box, right? So it's short acting. That one, if you read the package insert, it shows you that you need to repeat the treatment daily for at least three to five days. So now, if you are somebody who is readily available and that one that is, has to be administered on a daily basis is cheaper than the one that has to be only repeated after 72 hours, then you will go for that one because now you're doing what you're looking at your situation and your pocket. Right? Also, you have to look at the withdrawal period. Now, withdrawal period has to do with uh, how long you have to wait after the last treatment before you can take this meat to be slaughtered for a, a party or whatever and people eating that meat. You know, So there's a waiting period after you treat an animal before it can be eaten by people. That meat can be eaten or consumed by people. Right? So you will also come back and look at that withdrawal period. If it says the withdrawal period is 28 days and you know you can't wait 28 days or you know you have a plan with this cow, it's going to a funeral after two weeks, then you know you shouldn't be using that option 
of tetracyclines because that one it requires you to wait for longer then you will go for the incredible one that says seven days after the last treatment you will go and find out which one is the incredible one because i am encouraging you to read you must read the package inside then you understand that this one is called a seven day mid withdrawal period this one is going to be an eight day mid withdrawal period this one is called an 80 day um me to draw a period and also you will look at what's convenient for you and what will work for you no now those are the differences remember my my, my my first statement when i said they are not different but they've got differences so you look at those differences and choose what works for you i hope you guys understood what i'm trying to say so yeah that's what i wanted to say today like Let's understand why we are using something and preferably use this antibiotics under the guidance of a veterinarian and then they can show you how to use it, when to use it and use the correct recommended dosage and the correct recommended route. All right. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions, please comment um, on the comment section down below and I will kindly respond. So yeah, see you next time. I love you guys. Bye.